Oppenheimer has got to be the best movie so far in 2023. Christopher Nolan, the maestro of storytelling, brings to life one of humanity's most pivotal moments. The creation of the first atomic bomb. The anticipation is through the roof, with a stellar cast and the genius of Nolan leading the way. Among these remarkable figures is Louis Strauss, portrayed by the legendary Robert Downey Jr. But that's not all. Stick around, and we'll unveil what fate had in store for Louis Strauss after this historic triumph, and if he got away with everything. Who is Louis Strauss, and why is he even a significant member of the Manhattan Project? While the focus of Nola's project might be on Robert Oppenheimer, it's essential to know about other characters like Louis Strauss before heading to the theaters. Louis Strauss was already a well-known and respected personality in American politics and public service, even before the Second World War. His involvement in the Manhattan Project was significant because he played a crucial role in overseeing and managing the project. His contributions helped ensure the successful development of the atomic bomb, which ultimately had a profound impact on the outcome of the war. Louis Strauss was born on January 31, 1896. Over the next few decades, he had a successful career as a businessman, a well-known philanthropist, and also served in the Navy. He held various important roles in the government. One of his most significant positions was being the chairman of the United States Atomic Energy Commission in the 1950s. This role was essential because it allowed him to play a key part in managing atomic energy and nuclear developments in the country during that time. In the 1920s and 1930s, Louis Strauss was a member of the American Jewish Committee. He tried to change U.S. policies to be more accepting of Jewish refugees fleeing from Nazi Germany. During World War II, he played an active role and earned the rank of a real admiral in the Bureau of Ordnance which historians consider highly important. He strongly supported the development of the atomic bomb and later worked to ensure that the U.S. atomic secrets were kept safe and secure. While working with the Atomic Energy Commission, Louis Strauss supported using atomic energy for peaceful purposes. He also strongly believed in developing the hydrogen bomb. When he was in charge of the United States Atomic Energy Commission, he made some decisions that caused trouble for his future. One big problem was when he refused to give Robert Oppenheimer permission to access sensitive information. This decision sparked a lot of arguments and disagreements. After his time with the Atomic Energy Commission ended, the consequences of this decision became clear. The president at that time, Dwight Eisenhower, tried to make him the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, but the Senate strongly disagreed, and the nomination didn't happen. There was a time when Strauss was not allowed to become part of the cabinet, which doesn't happen often. This person, Strauss, became seen as a villain by many Americans, including powerful people, because of the Oppenheimer issue. It hurt his political career, but he continued to serve the public. He remained on good terms with the next president, and despite the controversy, he left a lasting impact on U.S. history that still sparks debates today. What really caused the feud between J. Robert Oppenheimer and Louis Strauss? Strauss and Oppenheimer were very different people with opposing views. Strauss believed in free markets and individual freedom, and he worked hard to achieve success on his own. On the other hand, Oppenheimer was a brilliant scientist from a wealthy family and was more interested in knowledge and social issues related to nuclear weapons. Their differences in backgrounds and perspectives led to clashes between their personalities. Strauss thought Oppenheimer was a dreamy and untrustworthy intellectual, while Oppenheimer saw Strauss as a dull bureaucrat who cared only about himself. Their conflicting ideas and personalities caused tensions between them. The Manhattan Project brought together these two very different people. Oppenheimer led the project scientists and navigated the complexities of government politics to make the atomic bomb a reality. His role was crucial to its success, 